Hi guys, this is Dr. Huertas from Kaplan Chiropractic. Today we're focusing on your hips. Dr. Kaplan just made a video explaining you how to actually release the hip flexors and using not only a stretch but also using your narrow lymphatic points. So what I'm going to show you today is a way to actually add another area that also involves your hip which is your psoas. Your psoas is a muscle that we tend to forget but it's extremely important on the mobility of that hip. If it's too tight, it's gonna pull that hip forward, which is gonna create a lot of tension on your glutes, and it can give you more than just hip pain, it can give you a lot of lower back pain as well. So what I do here with a lot of my patients is really simple, it's a stretch that I'm gonna show you with Dr. Kaplan. Usually the patient is gonna be obviously facing up. I'm gonna check first by using muscle testing the strength of that psoas. So for that, I'm going to place the leg, bend the knee. See the straining overall, hold it, okay? If he would have any progress in this area, when I push down, it will go weak, okay? By then, then I'm going to go into three different points. I'm going to check the psoas, which is put your hand in this side. Hold it. If it's strong, it's going to stay strong. If it needs to be addressed, it's going to go really weak. The other point we address is here your hip flexors, as Dr. Kaplan mentioned the same way and the last part will be your actual quad then you put your hand here and then you test that too okay depending what is actually a uh, week that we're going to address it in this case we're going to show i'm going to show you exactly how i address that psoas so for that i usually stand on the opposite side of the patient i bend the knee like this i use this part of my hand and i go into that specific point where you have your pelvic point uh bone that is sticking out and then you're gonna place your arm there and you're gonna tell the patient to take a deep breath. Go all the way in and then you go deep and all the way out. This, once you finish that breathing and you feel that you're like pretty deep, then you can start moving the leg forward. You can move this way too. And then you do it. Then once you do it once, you repeat it again and you do it twice, okay? Once usually this is done, I recheck the patient and most of the time is the strength is completely back. So amazing things on your on your hips so if you want to learn about all the techniques that we do here just give us a call bye